Greetings, guys. You find me broadly within the Bijin village of Nasolo. I say broadly because the main village of Nasolo is just over there on the banks of the Bar River, but because of flooding issues, part of it is relocated on a hill just nearby, and the rest of it is right here where I'm standing. This is the, uh, the rest of Nasolo village, if you like. And behind me is the most exciting bit. That is the abandoned Fijin village of Delai Koradula, and that's where we're headed today. We're going to investigate, we're going to explore that abandoned Fijin village. Now, Nasolo and that abandoned Fijin village are all part of a Yubusa called Namaduku. And uh, before we get started, we will have to do a Sebu Sebu, an offering where I give the Turanga, the, the, the headman of the Yabusa, the landowning group of Namaduku, I will have to present him some kava roots before we can actually visit that abandoned Fijian village. But I'm so excited, so let's get started. A lot of grass, <laughs> a lot of tall grass. All right, that's the nearly there at the uh, we're nearly at the abandoned village of Nasoro, but uh, there's a lot of grass. A lot of prickly grass as well here. That is the that is the, the outskirts of the abandoned village. I'm just behind me is Samu. Oh, <laughs> so we've got a we've got a, a guide ahead of us. A lot of jungle to get through. You good one, Oh, okay. You want to go back and get it? We wait. Yeah, yeah we wait here. What's it? What's it? He's going to get the knife. You. You'll see these stones here. There was a there was a trek made to this village back in what's that say? Was it 2018? Eh? When did they make the trek? Two thousand eighteen. So there was a trek that's made to to this village. And there are rocks on the uh, on the ground, but it's the grass has just overwhelmed the area. I can feel the stones. Yeah, that's a track. And there, this is the outskirts of the the village, the old village. There you go, there's tamarind there. Yeah, two, three, two, three, two, yeah. Okay, so uh Mosese some moss and, uh, Samu has gone to get a knife, but we're actually in the uh, the village itself the uh, and over here oh, seashells. seashells. Okay, look at these seashells, they've all they've all been Pulverized. And I wonder why. Wow. You can hear the 
the birds twittering away. Yeah. It's like it's the uh, middle of a you know, village and we have the Yavu around it. Yes. See here one Yavu here. Okay, there's a Yabu there. Okay, now this is absolutely amazing. So you've got a Yabu here. Look at these rocks. So this 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 is very interesting because it's a raised Yabu. Would it have been a Borekalo or the chief's Yabu? Uh, Not sure. Okay. Okay, okay. Wow. This is incredible. This is one of the most developed Yabus I've ever seen. It's huge. And it seems to be anyway. The other one here. Oh yeah, there's another Yabu here. Wow, look at these rocks. So there's another Yabu here. And uh, according to Mosese, there are there are more developed yabus. Okay. Okay. There's another one here. Yes. Look, another yabu. One there. One there. Okay. There's one over there. There's this yabu here. Look at this. Solidly, they built the yabus, the foundations. And in all, there's another one here, another Yabu here. In all likelihood, there are people buried in the Yabus. And yeah, because in those days, Fijians would bury their, uh, their ancestors in the foundations of their houses. But look, look at all these rocks. They've been, they've been transported here. Okay. More Yabus. See, this one? Yes. This Yabu is a big one, it's a long one. This is it. Maybe community hall or... In those days? Those days, yeah. Okay, so they're, they're... Okay, that's right, yeah. So, start from there. Yeah, yeah. Then here. Oh, it's huge, isn't it? That's yeah, huge. It's a huge... It wouldn't be the chief's uh, house, no? Right? No, it's like no. a meeting... I mean, like a meeting hall place. Meeting yeah, yeah. So, the, in those days, hundreds of years ago, those Fijians would be meeting here. Yeah. Those ancient Fijians. Wow. Because all, uh, not only your ancestors are here. Yeah. They, they, they look like the, it's a prison. Prison. Yeah, yeah. Prison, yeah? Yeah. Some goes to Balebuto. Yeah. Some goes to San Beto. Yeah. Malolo. Yeah. Ataumbere, Abu Ataumbere. Yeah. That's all the, some went to Natawa village. Yeah, yeah. Here in Nandi. Yeah. And that, 1960, 1960s. 1860s. That's where they were transported. Yeah, transported. Okay. The, uh, our our, our great great grandfather. Yes. They kept all these people. Okay. Like uh, in the history of Fiji. Yeah. They have four or three prisoners. Yeah, yeah. One in Sambeto. Yeah. One in Lebuka. Yeah. One in Ba. Okay. The one in Ba. Yeah. Yeah, in Nazolo. Okay. So the, the bar prison for those ancient Fijians yeah. was here in Nasolo. Like uh, people from Tailebu. Yeah. If one Yabusa do it, wrong things, yeah, they take these people to prison in Ba. Okay, okay. Right. Then a lot of then a lot of people. Yeah. From Tailebu. Yeah. They were the prison ah. in that time. They were they were brought here. Brought here. Okay. Now yeah. they are staying in Naloto. Okay. The descendants. Okay. Are they staying in, yeah, in Tongue? Yeah, Tongue. Yeah. This, this time. Okay, this, this time, yeah, they're descendants. Okay. Oh. Wow. That is an amazing bit yeah. of uh, Fijian history there. But the descendants of prisoners that were brought here are now living in a village very close by called Tongue. Tongue. Tongue is one, uh, one Tongue is a uh, recent village, eh? Yeah. The Naloto people yeah. came from Tailewu. Yeah. They were prison here. Yeah. yeah. So they were taken to stay in Nalot. It's incredible. You can hear the birds twittering. Mm -hmm. You can hear okay, we'll all go, these. We'll go further okay, yeah, well, let's go further up. This is just so exciting for me. Absolutely, I'm riveted by this ancient Virgin history. Uh, and you can see fungi 
There you go. Okay. Um, so I'm being led by the uh, Matani Vanua, and we're waiting for Samu, who is the. Uh... Sorry? Yeah. Okay. Including Nelanga. Nelanga. Okay. Nongarua. Yeah. Koronganga. Okay. Ednasolo. Yeah. So summer's on his way, he's a Tarangani Koro. Now there's more. What's this here? Uh, what are we looking at here? What would that be? Just, it's in a circle, eh? We're not sure what it is, eh? Yeah, Yabu's everywhere. Look, I've never seen so many Yabu's in my life as a Yabu here. Yeah. This one, another Yabu here. Look, look at the raised soil. Another yabu here. Look at this. Raised soil. This this is a yabu. A raised yabu. And I'm standing on it. I'm standing on this yabu. This is incredible. I've never seen so many yabus in one place before. This is incredible. So that somebody's, oh my goodness, what is this? I think this one is long here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe this. What a prison? They were kept. Oh, this is where the, okay. Okay, so this, this was the, the, uh, the boundary of the prison. This is where the, uh, this is what, uh, now, before coming here, I had met up with the uh, Durangna Yibusa who gave, I did, I said, well, so I handed over Kava roots of the Durangna Yibusa who gave us permission to come here. And he's, his daughter mentioned the fact that there was a prison here. And these stones here are, are the boundary for the prison. The, uh, the walls or the, uh, there would have been stakes, there would have been. Uh, I think they built, they built the prison here. Yeah. One Yabu, I think they, they are all. Yeah, yeah. They'll take care of. All. So the, what's the, this? Is part of the? Uh, yeah. The prison. Okay. Wow. Can't believe I'm walking on all this ancient Virgin history. Yeah. Look, there's more raised earth there. Another Yabu there. Yabus galore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So this is all. This is that. What's left of the boundary? Well, so I'm amazed you're walking in flip flops. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My goodness, there yabu's everywhere. Yeah, such a huge. It's big. Yeah. Is this a yabu or the the boundary for the prison? The boundary. For the prison. Okay. Maybe they build a house inside here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The warden's house. <laughs> wow. This is an apple, one, two, yeah. three, four. Yeah. Right one, two, three, four. I've, I've, so far, in about 10 minutes, I've seen about 20 yabus. I've never seen this many yabus, so many foundations, Bore foundations, foundations for the houses of the ancient Vigians. I've never seen so many in one place before, but look at the size of this one here. This is another yabu, isn't it? Eh? Yabu, yabu, yabu. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four. Four yabus here, including this huge one here. Quite possibly, because it's so high, quite possibly this might be the site for the uh, Burekalo. Maybe because it's so tall, eh? 
We don't know, eh? Yeah, yeah. And more yabus. Okay. You know, the the obvious giveaway for yabus is the, uh, the the raised earth and the stones. So there. Are, Look at these uh, Look. Also build seashells. Boundaries. Look at the... Um, also build boundaries. They build boundaries. See these shells, they're everywhere. Shells there, there. These are what those ancient Fijians were eating. This is one of the uh, archaeologists on Fiji's history will tell you that the two things they look out for are obviously things like yavus, but also pottery fragments and seashells. And the seashells everywhere. Look at these seashells. Everywhere, seashells, seashells everywhere. Uh, I'm sure there's some pottery here somewhere. Well, you, we're going to see some pottery, are we? Okay, we're, okay, wonderful. I've been promised we're going to see some pottery. So uh, this is this is about the most complete picture I have of the the ancient Fijian way of life that I've I've encountered in my uh, in roving around uncovering Fiji's ancient history. This is the most complete picture I've seen. Wow. Lots of seashells everywhere. Everywhere. And the weather's finally turned. It's nice and cool. It isn't so warm. It's beautiful. I slept like last night like a baby. I had a, a light bed sheet covering me. It was cool, refreshing. It was the coolest night there's been so far. And we're lucky that it's that we're traveling. We're venturing through this ancient Fijian village in this sort of weather. Very lucky. Oh wow, this is huge! Oh my word! Oh my goodness! What's going on here? What was this? This is a Yabu? Yes. For the chief or break glow or something? Maybe. We don't know. We don't know, we don't know for sure. No this could be uh this is absolutely huge. Look at all these stones pile up. Maybe yeah, yeah. So this quite possibly was the the location. Yeah, quite possibly an, uh, a site for the Burekalo, the spirit house, where the Bete used to sit in the Burekalo. And there'd be Masi strung from the the rafters, from the uh, rafters in the, from the uh, beams in the ceiling. And he would communicate with the gods, the ancient Fijian gods. And through the Masi, the Masi would be draped above his head and he would go out and speak to his people and say Mangi Mangi Yes, mangi mangi. mangi mangi, that's right uh, And he said, this is what the gods have said to me This is what I, I, I tell you to do because the gods have told me it. And this is quite possibly the site of a Burekalo We don't know for sure It's such an old site Unless we do some archaeological work, we'll never know but it's it's very very big. It's very raised, and it's at the topmost part of the village. So this could be a burek or yeah. could be a chief's village, a yeah. chief's house, chief's bure. We don't know. That, that was built in the eighties. Yeah. yeah, yeah, a long time ago. Long time. Long time. Yeah, incredible. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. This is just insane. Right. I'm staggered by what I'm seeing. Absolutely staggered. Is on the other side. There, there is um, there is a pond 
on the other side, which has been there uh, since the beginning of this village. And that pond is one of the reasons, probably one of the reasons why this village, why the villagers chose this location. The Bar River, uh, what's this, where's the Bar River? On that side, eh? Okay, the Bar River is on the, on the other side, over there. And over there is a lake. Uh, well, I say lake, it's actually a pond. But look at all these fallen logs. Very romantic, beautiful looking. And a very scenic spot. Wow. Another, another yavu. Wow. Just a, another yavu over there. Okay. And there you go. Seashells everywhere. This is what these ancient pigeons were eating. They would have eaten lots of elk, lots of other marine life, but uh, the seashell is what uh, survived the centuries. My God, there's seashells everywhere. Look at that. On the other side? Okay. They go this way? Maybe. Okay. Go, 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 go the yeah. Go the other side. Oh, okay. Look at this tree. It's, a, it's huge, isn't it? Eh? Mm. What sort of tree is this, Mr. It's like uh, we use this as a medicine. Eh? For medicine, okay. So if you eat junk food too much, yeah. If you eat, if you eat too junk, much junk food, junk food like lollies. Oh, okay. Then you come and you get the medicine from here. To help with the indigestion. Our tongue sometimes goes white. Yeah, yeah. Okay. If we taste, uh, if we eat uh, food, no taste. Yeah, yeah. So we come and get the medicine from, the, from this yeah. tree. From the, oh, you get the bark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Well, it's it looks like a. Yeah. Hot water. Yeah. Drink it. Yeah. The taste comes back. And look at all these stones. All these stones. The boundary, yeah, for Yabus. Wow, <laughs> this is incredible. I am absolutely gobsmacked. Incredible. It's cool, it's serene, it's a beautiful day. And uh, I've never seen so much that has. I've never seen so much that has got me utterly gripped and captivated. All this ancient Virgin history. More Yavus. Watch where you're stepping here. Yet more Yavus here. Yavus there. One here. Oh my goodness. Another Yavu. Yeah, that's right. Yes. There's another Yavu over there. Yeah, okay, yeah. I've never been gripped, as I said, I've never been gripped by so much of the physical presence of the old Fijian way of life, the old Yavus, the old pre-colonial Fijian history, the ancient Fijian history. I've never been gripped yeah. by more Yavus. <laughs> this is great. It's raining Yavus. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> it's raining Yavus. Amen. <laughs> so there's another Yavu here. Look at that one. Look at the stones. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Look at these petals from the um, African tulip. The African tulip, by the way, is an invasive species that was introduced by the British 
uh, colonial administrators and it's become it's 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 become a real threat in fact there, there are plans by the Fiji government to to uh, to eradicate the uh, the African tulip but uh, enough of that for now let's just look at these yavus more yavus okay, yeah we're going let's go in front yeah oh, wow All these stones would have been uh, carted here. Look at these seashells, fragments of seashells. No, no, don't worry. That's <laughs> 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 okay, don't worry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't worry. It's, it, even though it goes off, it's still recording. Now. Okay. Yeah. Spin the door. Just to play back to you. Just spin the door. Here, go. Lift your leg like this. Yeah. Lift your leg up. You have to exercise. Yeah. To exercise. A lake. Yeah. There is a lake. There is a lake just there. So that's where they got uh, those ancient Fijians got a lot of their food supply from there. They got uh, tilapia, uh, eels, uh, yeah. tilapia, eels. What, what else? Frogs. Frogs. What, uh, what else? Malay. Grasshoppers. Eels, eh? Malaya, that's sorry, that's the other one I was thinking of, Malaya. As you can see, the grass is above my height, the grass. <laughs> and uh, Samu's battling away with the cane knife to create a path. As I said, there is actually a path that was built back in 2018 as part of a tourism drive that never materialized. Never of course, you can see. This is the, uh, the remnant of that path that was created to bring tourism here and of course it never took off. The views around here are epic uh, if it wasn't for the grass. The views are epic. Hi. 
<laughs> How are you, driver? Okay. I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> yeah. And this is this is a, a passenger in the back seat. Yes. Bula dear. Bula. <laughs> oh, I love the car. Oh, lovely colour. <laughs> Blue diamond. <laughs> okay. Back up. This way. This, by the way, guys, is the um, the relocated village of Nasolo. That village where I began this journey is uh, on uh, on the banks of the Bar River. This is this is on higher ground. So now we're off to see the chiefly burial ground called the Sao Sao Tambu. Make one each family. Yeah. So we form one village. Nasolo. Nasolo village. Yeah. yeah. This is, it was just like this. Yeah. Form like that. From five. From they came from Nelanga. Nelanga. Yeah, they came from Nelanga. Yeah. Our great grandfather. Yeah. Come here and yeah. from the, stay here. Yeah. Have five sons. Okay. There's five sons. Yeah. Making this. This village. Yeah. The old village. Yeah. Old village and all this. And all this. Now. We okay. Can, where you are now. Yeah. From that five. Yeah. Four village. Now. Four village now. From that five brothers. From five four villages now. Our great our grandfather. So the village is... One village is down there. Yeah. One relocated village here. Yeah. Okay, they're relocated. And, and then one, there's another one. And another one there and another one in front. The one opposite Y-Y Road? Yeah, the yeah. one opposite Y-Y Road. Right. Okay. Wow, over there in the distance is the uh, Fiji Sugar Corporation. The FSC Mill. Wow. So... We're off to see the chiefly burial ground, the South Ambu, which is uh, it's going to be very interesting. This. Oh, that's the Bar River there, isn't it? Eh? Yeah, it's Bar River. Bar okay. Bar River. Yeah. Wow. That was where we went. Yeah, yeah. These flowers. Taki Taki. So this is it here. Wow. This one here, eh? Yeah. How many chiefs are buried here? Uh, one there. Okay, one here. And one here. No, oh, sorry. Oh, we passed one. Okay. Okay. Oh, another one here. Yeah. Okay. All the raised ground. South Tambu. Wow. Look at this, South Ambu. Can smell uh I don't know if place in You can see from the other side. Okay, oh okay. Oh okay. So this is a cheeky burial ground. That's the Bar River there. Wow. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, yeah. It's the uh, the river. Where's Walter Timidimi? Okay, that's Walter Timidimi. This is the Layaya. We are number seven. Is oh. Okay, yeah. So this is all the South Umbu, isn't it? Eh? Yeah, Big, isn't it? Eh? Huge. So this this raised area here with yeah. stones is the South Umbu, the chiefly burial ground, uh, and it's covered in all these yeah. leaves, all this grass, and there's a mango tree there. Oh, and this is a more recent burial, isn't it? Eh? That's all from uh, the Lake Orville. Yes. Have it. Look at that river. The river is also very important to the presence of the uh, village, the old village where it is, because uh, those ancient Virginians would have got, got their um, a lot of their supply of uh, marine food from that river, from from fish and uh, kai, the mussels. They would have got all of them from that river, as well as the uh, the pond. So they were very lucky at this village. It was one. Of, it's probably one of the rarest villages. Uh, there you go. That's uh, and there's some people fishing for kai over there. I don't know if you can see them. For the river yeah, yeah, still, yeah. yeah. Well, and there's a road that goes yeah. down there, isn't there? Wow, fantastic. And the sea is in that direction, isn't it? Eh? Yeah, no, the sea you can. Okay, yeah, it winds round, doesn't yeah. it? Goes off, yeah, sorry, yeah. over there, yeah, that's right, yeah. And that's uh, Vatia. Vatia. In yes. the distance, that's yeah. Vatia. Vatia is the uh, scene for a a whole succession of ancient Virgin hill forts which we'll explore in a future vlog. Uh, yeah. Some of the greatest hill forts in the Pacific are here in Fiji in this in this area of Bar. So we'll explore them in a future vlog. Hey. Mori! Dali! Hey Mori was! Hey Mori! Ah, Kisar! Oh, I'm going to go! 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 I'm I can hear them laughing from here. Hawe! Hawe! Mode! Mode! It's a cool day, but I'm soaked through with sweat and so so is Samu. Mm -hmm. Samu's back is drenched in sweat. You can imagine what it'd be like on a look at that hawk there. Hawk, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful gliding so majestically. Mm -hmm. 